What's up everyone? I'm going to give you a tour of the iconic Fontainebleau Hotel today in Miami Beach. This legendary hotel opened up in 1954 and was always a place to see and be seen. Many celebrities have lived here. The most famous one probably being Frank Sinatra who lived and vacationed at the hotel and it's made appearances in many movies like The Grand Hotel and the popular series The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. But we're here on Collins Avenue at the main entrance, Arrivals Drive. You can see the uh, driveway is quite popular right now. This is located in the mid-beach section of Miami Beach. And uh, right across the street, we have the Intracoastal Waterway and lots of beautiful yachts, some worth millions of dollars, parked right on the water here. But let's walk inside this hotel and I'll show you what the hype is all about. Before we walk in, I'd like to show you this fountain here. It's actually quite serene. And considering this is Miami slow season in August 2022, there's quite a few people in this driveway. All right, let's go inside. I think many of you are going to be blown away at the grand scale of the lobby. Look at the design of the handles. It's like a seahorse. Quite an impressive lobby. Let's go over to the right first. There's quite a few restaurants here too, including one I believe on the rooftop. But the main highlight of this hotel pretty much is everything, but my favorite is the large swimming pool. Hi. Hi. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, I am. Hi. Check Hi. me out. Hi. The kids are pretty happy. I heard right now most kids' dream profession is to become a YouTuber. And growing up, I had no idea I'd be doing this. It's a beautiful. What's your name on YouTube? It's uh, Action Kid. Check okay. me out. Action. Action Kid. Action Kid. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Now this entire hallway here is dedicated to Frank Sinatra. He was born in Hoboken, New Jersey. And although he was born in New Jersey, he's very famous for the songs that he sang about New York. Here's some information about the Frank Sinatra exhibit. This 
100 years already since uh, Sinatra. Pretty incredible that all these pictures were preserved and now put on display. And take a look at this ceiling, the uh, open glass ceiling. You can also take a peek of the swimming pool over to the left. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. I want to visit Italy. Have you been in Italy? No, not yet. I think I want to go to Rome, Napoli, over there. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everything there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Take care. Here you can really get a uh, sense of the swimming pool from this area. They have a uh, deck, you can just go right onto it. Wonder if this slides open. Nope. So there's a swimming pool. This is the other entrance. I think this section over here is a nightclub, the Sorrento Treasure. Oh, we have it open here. Why bother wasting my energy to open that door when these are free? You can see why many people stayed at this hotel. It's like a movie here. Frank Sinatra spent a lot of time. Let's go over here. Well, uh, I guess you gotta pull. It says automatic tour, but it's not really automatic. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like a nice long hallway here. Love the art design. It's actually my first time in this section of the Fontainebleau. much quieter on over here too. This must be the uh, check-in area for this section of the hotel. Well, here's a restaurant. Beautiful staircase. All right, let's uh, walk back to the 
main lobby and I'll show you some of the other areas of this hotel. You can even walk out onto the pool. I think the average rate for a hotel here is about $400 a night. So it's quite pricey to stay here. This valet area is pretty busy. I believe um, this section over here are actually residences. So people stay here long term. This, I think, is automatic now. Walking in through here is uh, really gorgeous. Every time I come here, it really blows my mind how beautiful this hotel is. Go over here first. Here's a restaurant called the Strip Steak by Michael Mina. menu is quite pricey 225 bucks for a Australian Wagyu tomahawk steak and uh, over here is a dessert place they've got macaroons looks like uh, different cakes you get some shopping done here too at the Balmain Paris This ballroom is open. Just want to take a peek of it. Yeah, beautiful in here. 
Right now, it looks like they're prepping for an event, but it's got a lot of space. sushi restaurant along with Vita. Everything here smells so good. Breakfast buffet. As you can see this is uh, quite the gourmet breakfast. Two eggs for 21 bucks. You can go to the supermarket and get an egg for, uh, even at these inflated prices, you could probably get an egg for less than a dollar. And the Blade Sushi menu. As always, dinner is usually the most expensive meal of the day. I think the restaurant on the roof is Hakkasan. General rules for the pool. Let's see if we can get up to Hakkasan. are. Let's 
So Hakkasan's on the fourth floor, and the pools are on the lower level. I think I want to go up. Oh, this one's going up. Okay. Yeah, this is going up. Oh, it's going up. Yeah. See how quick this elevator is. Nice mirror. Okay. And here's Hakkasan on the fourth floor. This is a uh, upscale restaurant. Hi. Yep. Hi. I'm doing a tour of the whole hotel. It's okay. beautiful. Yeah, you got everything from the Peking duck to the black pepper, dessert. Very cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. And here's Hakkasan. Here's a bar. And the uh, dining area. You can see it's very uh, Chinese looking. They even have an outdoor area too. I wonder if we can go outdoors from here. No, it doesn't look like we can go. Or maybe we can. Well, there's no seats over here, but we still got a great view. Down there is the Miami Beach Boardwalk. Atlantic Ocean. There's a uh, container ship out there too. It was worth it just to come up here. Now let's head over to the lower level and I'll show you the swimming pool area. The heavy door. Food smells great here. This one's going to um, arrive next. Oh, this one here. Okay, let's see how the swimming pools look like.
das Spaß. Hey! Hey, my Jamaica, okay. <laughs> Have fun. So it looks like this is a hair salon and also a nail salon too. The lapis. And back there was the day spa. Very modern and clean. store and now we're going to show you the pool level this is my favorite area the fontaine blue the swimming pools Hi. <laughs> right now the pool is closed. They close up all the umbrellas and the seating areas. I think the deepest part of this pool is four feet six inches. There's another section over there I'd like to see. I think the hot tub is there and there's also another um, kids pool. There's no lifeguard on duty so people do have to swim at their own risk. They've got some be uh, pretty, pretty um, beautiful cabanas here. Although I think you do have to pay for them. Here's the hot tub and the children's pool behind it. What's over here? There's another pool. Yeah, it looks like there's another one. All right, this is pretty beautiful. Goes uh, all the way around in a circle.
or not quite, there's a ramp to get to the cabana there. Looks like there's another swimming pool here. They're busy cleaning it right now. This one also has a water slide. And if you want access to Miami Beach proper, you go through here. And there's a boardwalk here. This boardwalk actually extends for seven miles from North Beach all the way to South Point Park. Let's uh, walk over to the water and I'll end my video. Not that many people on the beach right now. Right now, um, Florida is dealing with a severe algae problem. So a lot of the beaches are filled with seaweed. It's called sargassum and it naturally occurs throughout this area. But this year they're expecting higher than normal volumes of the seaweed. The sun is setting right behind me. All right, everyone. I will end my video here. I hope you enjoyed this extensive tour of the Fontainebleau Hotel, iconic hotel here in Miami Beach, very well known. Hit that like button if you like content like this, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and I will see you later. Bye everyone, take care.